Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. An outpouring of community support after the new Hagen grocery chain cut dozens of positions, including developmentally disabled clerks. But now Hagen says it's trying to help those employees. News Channel 3's Elise Martinez joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Elisa, it sounds like that Hagen didn't anticipate the reaction it got from the community. Beth and CJ, the reaction was strong, and tonight the group that placed these clerks in the original store says Hagen has reached out to them. PathPoint CEO Cindy Burton's phone is ringing off the hook after 14 developmentally disabled clerks from her agency were fired from Hagen's grocery store. Uh, I got a call from the human resources uh, VP at Hagen. The clerks with special needs were laid off as part of broader cuts affecting dozens of other workers. Burton says Hagen told her the employees were free to search at competing grocery stores. They did uh, explain to me the collective bargaining agreement, which meant that people who were involuntarily terminated could seek employment at the Albertsons, Bonds, or any other place. Hagen says it's also trying to help these clerks find new jobs. Burton says Hagen has not yet provided any direct referrals. They explain they'd be more than willing to give positive references, explain attendance background on individual employees, and that they'd really hope they could turn this around and be able to offer jobs in the future. Burton says the Santa Barbara community has also stepped up in a big way. The silver lining is we elevate the discussion about employment for people with developmental disabilities. That will have a positive outcome. 